What's up internet, TJ here, and I want to give you my six tips for riding the Washington DC Metro, or subway depending on where you're from. Now this guide is aimed at everybody who rides on the train, but especially you I heart DC wearing t-shirt tourists who don't know where you're going, what you're doing, and pretty much getting in everybody else's way. Now these are just some observations of mine that are not only going to make your trip better, but everybody else's. Alright, and number six, don't be that guy who listens to music on their phone speaker. Everybody hates you. Yes, you. Yeah, yeah, this new Lady Gaga track is sick. You like it? Mmm. Mm. Loud music on the train, in my opinion, is the secondhand smoke to the ears. The number five tip on my list is the DC Rider app. It's free. It gives you maps of the trains, when trains are arriving at each station, and pretty much can let you schedule out your day ahead of time. When I had a metro stop outdoors, I used to hate standing outside in the cold weather. Now with this app, you can plan ahead and know when a train is coming, and that way you can make sure you're there right when the train gets there. Or approximately. Tip number four, the doors, they're made of razor blades. Okay, okay. I was kidding about the razor blade part, but seriously, don't be that guy who tries to jump in on the train in the last second while the doors are closing. The train doors might close on one of your body parts or one of your bags, but even worse, don't be one of those people who like deliberately holds the doors open on purpose to wait for one of their friends who are like seven hours behind them. You are holding hundreds of people up, and you may or may not be karate kicked onto the platform like this dude here. My tip number three is that bathrooms exist. Yes, bathrooms exist on the metro. They are the rare metro diamonds in the rough. There's nothing worse than walking up to a station and knowing that you have to use the bathroom, but you also have like a 30 minute train ride ahead of you. Just ask nicely, and maybe you'll get a station attendant who will let you in. My number two tip on this list is prepare for your exit. Now this tip pertains mostly to you locals and commuters on the train who know where your exits are gonna be. So as you're on your way to your transit point or final station, don't be afraid to jump ahead or behind different cars at each station. That way you don't get off and have to walk like 50 yards to get to your escalator. That 50 yards could add a few more minutes to your commute and you couldn't miss your next train. And my number one tip on this list is stand to the right. It seems to be my most simple tip, but it is one of the toughest ones for people to wrap their minds around. When I say stand to the right, I mean on the escalators. If you're gonna stand on the escalator, stand to the right. And if you wanna walk up the escalator or run up the escalator, go to your left. There's nothing worse than being late for your job or late for an appointment and you wanna run up or down the escalator, but somebody is just standing there. Standing on the left on the escalator, in my opinion, is like being the troll of the DC Metro. You know that you're getting in people's way and you know you're ticking everybody off. Just do yourself a favor and avoid maybe future harassment. Stand to the right. Bonus tip, I know, I said six, but now I'm giving you seven. This isn't so much a tip, but my be a good person PSA for the day. If you see an elderly person or somebody in uniform or somebody just straight up having a rough day, give them your seat. And that's it. Now not only do you guys know how to survive the DC Metro, but ride it efficiently. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel to get some more awesome video goodness. I'll see you guys later.